All right, so at the top of a blank page in your notebook, you are going to title it Cell Cycle Overview. And today's date, which is 3-27-19. These notes are pretty much going to go over interphase, uh, mitosis, and uh, cytokinesis. There's going to be three stages all together that we're going to be looking at. Um, so the first thing we're going to start off with is, hopefully it gets focused again, and I'll probably be doing this throughout the little video of focusing and unfocusing, but what is, what is it? What is the, what is the cell cycle? Um, of course, I did that in the color I did not want to do, but that's okay. Uh, it is a regular, a regular sequence. of growth and division, regular sequence of growth and division that cells undergo, and it is divided into three stages. Uh, by regular sequence means it's constantly occurring in your body, all over your body. Those cells are growing and dividing. Uh, but not just in your body, bacteria undergoes that plant animals, it's a regular sequence that's frequently going on. And then those three phases are, one is going to be interphase, Two is going to be mitosis, and three is going to be cytokinesis. All right, so that is the first little part. So cell cycle, it is a regular sequence of growth and division that all cells undergo. Uh, the three stages are interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Now the next section, we're going to look at specifically stage one. which is interphase. Interphase is actually a period, see if you can see that color, period before cell division. So the cell has not divided yet. It's just kind of the preparation stage. And about 90% of a cell's life uh, is going to be spent in interphase. So in this little part, so I have big letter B, uh, the cell grows, okay, so to, to about double its size, grows, makes a copy of its DNA, and prepares to divide into two cells. Okay, so that's pretty much interphase as a whole. Water all over my paper, great. Uh, but that's just going to be stage one interphase. So let's move on to stage two. And I'll do a whole nother Harvard notes, like maybe Thursday, that goes over strictly mitosis. But mitosis in general is what we're looking at here. Whoopsies. Let me wipe that out real quick. I wanted to say stage two. And I don't feel like pausing and redoing this, so we're just going to keep going. Uh, stage two. Mitosis. And mitosis is a stage, and there's actually four kind of mini stages. It is a stage... That's a U. Actually, that looks weird. During which the cell's nucleus. Taylor Anderson, please report to carpool. Taylor Anderson. The cell's <laughs> nucleus. So stage during which the cell's nucleus divides. So one becomes two, 
divides into two nuclei. Nuclei just is the plural of nucleus. So all cells have one nucleus, but now as we're getting prepared to make two new cells, obviously it's going to have to have two nuclei. So one is going to go into each. One copy of the DNA deoxyribonucleic acid. So one copy of the DNA is distributed into each of the two daughter cells. All right. So the stage during which the cell's nucleus divides into two nuclei, one copy of DNA, so the one copy of the DNA is going to go to one nuclei, one copy of the DNA is going to go to the other nuclei, so that each daughter cell has a complete set of um, DNA. You don't want half the DNA. You're not making sex cells, you're making body cells. So big letter B, mitosis is divided into four phases or states or stages. And number one, I'm just going to list them all together. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So PMAT. How many of you just watched that Amoeba Sisters video? Hopefully you realize that they were talking about PMAT, which is just what this is. All right, the last little section we're going to talk about is cytokinesis. So for, switch out my colors here. Woohoo! Stage three is going to be cytokinesis. Oh, man, that's really blurry. Oh, Uh, stage three is going to be cytokinesis. That's my train of thought. Um, go purple. A is going to be the final stage. It's the final stage of the cell cycle. Final stage in which the cytoplasm, remember all that little jelly that kind of helps the cell uh, maintain structure, but also is all that jelly-like kind of fluid in between all the organelles. So in which the cytoplasm divides and the organelles. So be thinking the mitochondria, if it's a plant, chloroplast, vacuoles, lysosomes, the endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, they're all kind of being distributed. So the organelles are distributed. They are distributed into each of the new cells. So each of the new daughter cells is going to get some of the organelles from the original and the other daughter cell is going to get some of the other ones. Uh, is it going to be an even split every time? Definitely not. So we're going to kind of talk about cytokinesis is different in animal cells and plant cells. So the first thing we're going to talk about is in the animal cell. That was one of your objective questions when it was talking about what is the difference. Uh, and there is quite a big difference. It's not that great, but it still is a difference. So in this case, the cell membrane, that is the outermost layer of the animal cell, the cell membrane is going to squeeze together. going to squeeze together, which pretty much is going to pinch or pinches the cytoplasm into two new cells. And a very rough drawing of this is simply going to be, I'll put it over here just to save some room. Um, Let's see, so here's my one kind of animal cell. Remember, they're not the rectangular shapes that we're used to, for plant cells, that is. Um, so it's going to kind of 
Ugh, it's going to look kind of like a butt or maybe a pumpkin, I don't know. And it's going to become two new. So it's pinching here. The cytoplasm is pinching in between. And now you have two new animal cells. Okay? Lovely. Now the next thing is going to be the plant cell. So big letter C, plant cell. Now recall that plant cells, they have the cell wall as their outermost layer. They still have a cell membrane. However, it's not the outermost layer. So a cell plate, okay, cell plate, that was part of your vocabulary words. Cell plate forms across the middle of the cell. And I'm actually just going to take another piece of paper and kind of continue on because I'm too lazy to get to a new piece. Um, I don't really want to flip it over. Uh, cell plate forms across middle of cell. Another one of Miss Penny's wonderful arrows. Uh, and this eventually, ugh, I don't want to do this. I'll do it like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to start it on the next line. All right, sorry about that. I was just interrupted. Uh, but eventually, so cell plate forms across the middle of the cell. Eventually, a new cell membrane develops. Okay. And this one's going to be a little bit better. I'm going to do it in green because it's a plant cell. Uh, these cells are going to be a lot more rectangular. And essentially, it's just going to become two new cells. So the cell plate is this thing right here, which is forming across the middle. And now you're going to have two plant cells. And I'm kind of drawing the, oh man, this looks weird. Um, the outermost edge being the cell wall, and then the innermost edge being the cell membrane. There you go.